Before you ask, no, the title of this video is not clickbait. I am, in fact, shutting down operations on this channel to move over to other projects. I'm not shutting down right away, and it may not be permanent. Allow me to explain. I created this channel back in 2015, and I named it Down to Earth Astronomy because I wanted to use my education as an astrophysicist to make videos about space and astronomy. The channel very quickly evolved into what it is today and became more and more gaming focused. But I always have this urge to come back to this original idea. This is why I, in 2021, created a second channel called Cosmic Curiosity. I posted to this channel for a few months, um, but I had to stop as creating two videos a week over here, Hello Dave, weekly live stream, while also having a, a full-time job. And if you also want to prioritize time for friends and family, it was just not feasible. There's just not enough hours in a day for me to run both channels which is why it's been dormant for quite a while now. So I've been trying for quite a while now to find ways to free up time, allowing me to I don't know, optimize my workflow, do something that um, would allow me to have a bit more time so that I could go and invest that into Cosmic Curiosity. However, it's not really been successful, to be honest. And this is why I, after a lot of consideration, have decided that I've been talking about space games for eight years now, and it's time for me to go and do something else. That means that in about two months' time, I am going to shut down operations on this channel. The last video is scheduled to go live on this channel on Wednesday the 20th of December. It's that point that I usually go on my Christmas break, where I will spend time with friends and family. The difference is I'm not going to come back after New Year's, at least not on this channel. After New Year's, I'm going to take a break from YouTube altogether. I'm probably going to be gone for one, two, no more than three months tops, where I'm going to invest that time into um, a lot of these things that I've been pushing in front of me, that I've been postponing, that I just didn't have the time for. I really want to go and learn a new, better editing software, but I never had the time to invest into it because that would slow down my workflow, and I couldn't slow down the workflow because I needed to keep up with the stuff I wanted to post on this channel. I also really want to begin to be better at storytelling so I can put... I make better, I structured videos. Um, so there's a lot of these things that I just never had the time to invest in. And I'm gonna use this break to go and enhance these skills before I come back on Cosmic Curiosity and sometimes in Q1 2024. If you are interested in the channel, however, I'll be posting a link for it in the description. You can go and check it out. As I said, I already posted a few months there. So you can see some of those videos. They might give you an indication of what type of content you can expect over there. Obviously, this is not a decision that I've taken lightly. Uh, it's something that I've been thinking about for months now. And I made a deal with myself a while back that if I was still feeling like moving to Cosmic Curiosity was the right thing for me here at the end of October, then it would be a deal. Then I would have to do it. That was what I was going to do, at least try it out. As I got closer and closer to the end of October, I noticed I had a, like, a change of mindset. I was switching from thinking about if I should do this to how or when I should do this. And when I realized that I had this change of mindset, I realized that, yes, I have to go and I have to do this. I have to go and explore other things, try new things, and then challenge myself in new ways. But as also said in the intro, I don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing. I don't know if when I begin to make these um, like more real-life space-type videos that I'm planning to do on Cosmic Curiosity, if it turns out that it wasn't what I wanted to do at all. It wasn't what I was expecting it to be. And if that's the case, then I'll come back. Don't count on it, and I'm not making any promises. Now, I know this is gonna leave a number of loose ends. I'm gonna try to address as many of them as I can now. If I have missed something, or if you have questions, then post them in the comments, and I'll try to pick them up in Hello Dave on Monday. All the old videos, live streams, and Hello Dave's, everything that's on this channel, today and that will be posted to this channel in the next two months will stay there will remain so there's currently a backlog of more than 1700 videos you can go and watch there's bound to be something you haven't seen yet so massive back, back, back catalog you can go and enjoy for patreons prior to this video going out i have already sent a message uh, to all my patreons um, also explaining what i'm doing explaining in this video here and i've decided to shut down my patreon at the end of the year as well it just doesn't feel right to take people's money for a service that I'm no longer providing. It seems like the right thing to do to uh, to shut down Patreon as well. I'm going to try to see if I can do a similar thing with you guys who are um, supporting directly on YouTube. 
Um, I'm not sure if that can be done without shutting down the entire monetization for the channel. Um, I'm going to have to look into that. And I also just want to use this opportunity to say a huge thank you to all you guys who have supported um, the work that I've been doing on this channel for the last eight years. Um, it's been a huge help and the money that's come in for, through Patreons and donations and stuff like that is what's been paying for like lights and microphones and the camera I'm recording with right now. The Discord server, however, is going to stay as it is. Um, it's still an active community and even though I'm not posting videos, the community can live on um, just naturally and I'm planning to still be active on the, um, the Discord server even after I start up on Cosmic Curiosity. I've made a lot of friends over on this Discord server and I'm not gonna like, just lose contact with those guys. So just because I'm making videos about space stuff doesn't mean I'm gonna stop playing computer games. I'm just not recording it anymore. But whenever I am playing computer games, I'll likely be hanging out on the D2EA Discord server. Um, so we can always come by and say hi over there. However, I have also created a new Discord server for Cosmic Curiosity that's obviously gonna be focused a lot more around the space and astronomy stuff. Um, and if you're interested in that, there will also be a link for that in the description below. Next up, our in-game faction Terra X Astro Corp. That is also going to continue to run just as it has today with a slight change of management. For the last many years, the way the faction has been functioning is I've been um, obviously the owner of the faction and I have been involved in all the high level, like big pictures decisions, right? All the day-to-day -day stuff has been done by the um, faction planners. And I've talked to uh, Pastoral, which a lot of you guys will know him, as he has been the, uh, the, the daily faction planner for quite a few years, and he is going to take over the faction. So I am handing over control of the faction to him, um, and he's going to continue it um, probably the same way that he has been so far. So you probably won't notice any difference with Terra X, it's going to continue exactly as is. I've offered Pastoral that he can keep using the Discord server to, uh, to organize the faction, which he has accepted. But should he in the future decide to move it to his own dedicated server, I'll be, uh, I'll be following there. I am going to stay in the faction as a member, um, but Pastoral will be 100% in charge. And as soon as this video goes live, we're going to start the process of uh, transferring the faction over to him. Finally, Commander's Toolbox is also going to remain, going to keep the site online. I am not going to make any more updates to it. That means if Frontier decides they want to begin actually making changes to Elite Dangerous again, the site might like drift out of sync so that some of the, the information on it could in the future be inaccurate. If that happens, um, I'll likely just remove the tools that are no longer valid, that's no longer correct. And at some point, if there's too much stuff that's been removed, I might close the site. I have no active plans to shut down Commander's Toolbox, but I'm going to keep it alive as long as it makes sense. If the user base for it drops down to almost nothing, then I might shut it down. Or if the information on the site just gets too inaccurate, then I might also shut it down. But there's no active plans for, for closing the site right now, so it's going to remain just as it is today. But if you have any questions that I haven't addressed in this video or just want more clarifications about some things, post it in the comment section below and I'm going to try and pick it up and address it in Hello Dave on Monday. Uh, so hopefully we can, can get things cleared out if there should be any questions. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and for two more months, I'll see you guys in space.